In this video, I'm going to be explaining how to write equations of parallel and perpendicular lines. Let's start with equations of parallel lines through a given point. If we're given an equation of a line to begin with, and we're asked to write the equation of a line that is parallel to that, also passing through a specific point, here is how we can write the equation of that line. The first thing you need to know is the relationship of slopes of parallel lines. Parallel lines have equal slopes or the same slope. So now I have the information I need to write the equation of my other line. I know that the slope of the line is going to be 3, the same as the slope of this line. And I know that I want it to go through or pass through this coordinate. So I have a point I can use. If I have a slope and a point, I can write the equation in point slope form. I'm going to substitute the y value of my specific point into the y1 spot. And I'm going to substitute the x value of my specific point into the x1 spot. And last, I'm going to substitute the slope into the m spot. So we can simplify any double negatives first. So y minus negative 3 is going to turn into y plus 3. Everything else is still the same. If we want to put this in slope intercept form so that we can graph the equation, we can solve for y. We can distribute the 3 and multiply it by both of these terms. So 3 times x is 3x. 3 times negative 2 is negative 6. And the last step to solve for y is just to subtract 3 from both sides. So this should be a little bit farther over here. So if I subtract 3 from the left, I'm left with y. If I subtract 3 from negative 6, I'm left with negative 9. So my equation is y equals 3x minus 9. We could even prove it or verify it by plotting or drawing these graphs. So if I draw the graph of y equals 3x plus 4, I have a y-intercept at 4 and a slope of 3. So I'm rising 3, running 1. The equation that I just found should hopefully be a line that is parallel to that first line and hopefully goes through the point 2, negative 3. So here's 2, negative 3. My line is definitely going through there because I started or had a y-intercept at negative 9 on the y-axis and a slope of 3. Lines that have the same slope will always be parallel. And we just had to use that information in the point given to write the equation of our second line right here. Let's do another one. This time we're given the line or the equation of the line y equals negative 1 half x plus 2. We could even graph that first. So if I start at 2 on my y-axis and I go down 1, right 2, I could use my slope to graph the rest of my line. And the question is asking for us to write the equation of a line that's parallel to this, passing through a specific point, 4, negative 6. Well, I know that my two lines have to be parallel, so I know that their slopes are equal. So I know the slope of my new line has to be negative 1 half. And I know it needs to pass through or include the point 4, negative 6. So I have a slope. I have a point. I'm going to use point-slope form to start the equation of my line. Plugging in the y value into the y1 spot. Plugging the x value of my point into the x1 spot. And plugging the slope into my m spot. Simplify any double negatives. So y minus negative 6 becomes y plus 6. Everything else stayed the same on the right side. Let's solve for y to put it in slope-intercept form so we can graph the line. We're going to distribute on the right side, multiply everything over here by negative 1 half, or divide by negative 2. So negative 1 half times x is negative 1 half x. Negative 4 divided by negative 2 is positive 2. I could then subtract 6 from both sides to get y by itself. So 2 minus 6 is negative 4. And now we got the equation of our second line. Let's make sure it passes through the point 4, negative 6. So if I start my equation in negative 4 on the y-intercept and go down 1, right 2, down 1, right 2, or count it backwards, left 2, up 1, left 2, up 1, it does, in fact, intersect at 4, negative 6. And these two lines are parallel. That's what we wanted. Let's focus on equations of perpendicular lines now. 
So same situation, we're given the equation of one line, but now we wanna write the equation of a second line that's gonna intersect perpendicularly and pass through a specific point. So the first thing we need is a slope, and we need to understand that slopes of perpendicular lines have opposite reciprocal slopes. So if this line has a slope of three, a perpendicular line to that must have a slope of negative one third, an opposite and a reciprocal. So now we know the slope has to be negative one third and it has to pass through the specific point. I have a slope and a point. I'm gonna use point slope form to start with. So substitute the y value into the y1 spot, the x value of my point into the x1 spot, and the slope into the m spot. And now we can solve for y so that we can graph our line. We're gonna distribute negative one third on the right side here. So negative one third times x is negative one third x. Or we could divide by negative three, that's the same thing. So negative six divided by negative three is positive two. To get y by itself, just add two to both sides. So two plus two is four. And here's the equation of our line. So let's draw both of these lines. Y equals three X plus four means I'm gonna start at four on the Y axis and go up three over one or count it backwards down three left one. So here's our first line. The equation that we just came up with hopefully is a perpendicular line. So we're gonna start at four again on the Y axis and this time use our slope of negative one third down one right three down one right three. And we can graph the second line. They definitely look perpendicular we can guarantee that because we have opposite reciprocal slopes. The last thing we need to check is did it in fact go through the point that we were asked to pass through, 6, 2. So if I look at 6, 2, yeah, the line that I just graphed is passing through that point and is perpendicular to the original line. One more time. This time we're given the equation of the line y equals 2 thirds x minus 1. And we're gonna write an equation of a second line that is perpendicular to that first line. And that second line is gonna pass through this specific point. So we're gonna to need to find the slope first. We need an opposite reciprocal slope for a perpendicular line. So the reciprocal of two thirds is gonna be three halves and the opposite of a positive is a negative. So here's our opposite reciprocal slope or perpendicular slope. We have a slope, we have a point. We're gonna use point slope form to write the equation of the line. Substitute the y value of the point into the y1 spot, the x value negative six into the x1 spot, and the slope into the m spot. Simplify any double negatives first. So x minus negative six becomes x plus six. Now we can distribute that negative three halves throughout. Negative three halves times x is negative three halves x. Negative three times six is negative 18 divided by two is negative nine. Add three to both sides. So negative nine plus three is negative six. So this is the equation of our second line. Let's verify it by graphing. If I plot the first line, negative one on the y-axis and go up two over three, up two over three, or backwards down two, left three. So this is our first or original line. The line of the equation that we just came up with hopefully is perpendicular. We're going to start at negative 6 on the y-intercept and go down 3, right 2, or count it backwards. We're going to go left 2, up 3, left 2, up 3. So they definitely look perpendicular. We guarantee that they're perpendicular because they have opposite reciprocal slopes. Let's do our final check and make sure our second line went through the specific point that we were asked for. Negative 6, 3 does, in fact hang out on the line that we just drew. So there's how we write equations of parallel lines and equations of perpendicular lines. Find their slopes, use the point given in the equation, start off by using point slope form, convert it to slope intercept form and graph the lines to verify.